Hey guys, welcome back for another bath bomb demo. Today we have one from Sugar Plum Soaps, and if you remember my unboxing, it was pretty impressive. This is the same company who made the Atlantis Cottage with the beautiful mermaid on it, the really nice size, beautiful, beautiful bath bomb that I don't know that I'm ever going to be able to put in my tub. And the creator, Deborah, she makes these beautiful, beautiful artisan soaps, and of course she makes bath bombs as well. Um, this one is scented in spiced cranberry, and she had it wrapped up really nice and tightly. And when I opened it up, the scent just hit me. It's so, so beautiful. What it smells like to me is the spice packets that you, the seasoning packets you get when you make cider for the holidays. That's what this smells like to me. And I just, I want to drink it. I want to eat it. It just, it smells so, so good. Um, I just love it. I haven't really had a bath bomb scented anything quite like this, but it's obviously it's got soap on the top and I just think it's, it's going to be really, really nice to bathe in. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get it in the water and see what it will do because I just, I think it's just really, really pretty and it smells really good. So I cannot wait to try out her bombs. Oh, wow, this smells so, so good. I don't know if it's gonna float because it's got all that heavy soap. No, it doesn't want to. Oh my goodness. I am just, I'm so excited about all these new fall scented balms and bath products because cinnamon, I love cinnamon. I guess if you don't really care for cinnamon, then maybe fall, um, might not be your favorite season as far as scents go and products, but um, oh my goodness, this smells so, so good. And it's going to be really cool to have some soap to bathe with as well. Goodness, this smells good. Now, unfortunately, you guys are at a loss. You can see this, but you can't smell it. And as far as I'm concerned, hers are visual. <laughs> um, obviously, they're just, they're beautiful to look at. And this scent is, I've said it five times already, smells really, really good. And of course, she is a master with the soap, so I guarantee you that this is going to be an amazing bath. I'm just really interested to see how, how this works as a bomb with the soap on top like this. I've had some before that have just like a little piece of soap on top, and it just kind of pops off really almost before before you even put the bomb in the water because it's it's not really even attached that well, but this is this is just really on there tightly. I mean it's it's definitely part of the bomb. Not just necessarily an embellishment, let's put it that way. So this is just actually making like some nice foam. It's not just a fizzer, it's kind of foamy too. So you guys have to go on her site, and I'll have it listed down below. She comes out with new stuff just, I know weekly. It has to be weekly. That's what it feels like to me. But she's got a lot of really cool um, fall stuff out already. Um, it's Halloween stuff already, too. Um, she's got some gorgeous soaps and some bath bombs. So um, you're going to have to go check her out. And so you can go to her Facebook page. She's got a lot of um, things on there listed um, previews of things before she even puts them on her site. Ooh, there's a little piece of soap. Let's set that on the side. Whoop! I lost the little yellow ball on top, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so go to her Facebook page first 
and like that, follow that. And um, also, you can go to her website from there, or um, you can just go to her website link if you want, because I'll have both of those listed below, but I'll definitely go check out both of them. This water is not really turning much of a color. It's a light purple. I mean, this is this is a lavender balm, obviously, but it's not got a lot of pigment in it, but we're getting a little bit of color. I can already tell, though, that there is some sparkle in the water, just some little bitty shimmer, and it is really, really soft. I'll have to fish out that little little yellow piece of soap in just a second. Let me go do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I fished out my little yellow piece of soap and it's so beautiful, look at that. Just, it's, I don't even know if it's shimmer, but it, it's shiny, so, so pretty. And um, I dropped my little balm and I found him too, but it looks like, um, it reminds me of a little gumdrop. It's so cute. I might drop him again, but I did just want to fish him out and because I dropped him and I couldn't find him. Goodness, this scent, you guys, it smells so, so good. And I'm really ready for the fall. I don't know where you guys are, but where I am, it is super, super hot. This is um, the hottest part of the year. And then finally, one day you'll wake up and it'll be like, oh, finally some relief from the heat. But um, I am so ready for the fall. So just doing this, it's, it's really nice thinking that we're going to get some relief sometime soon from the heat and start drinking our spiced drinks and hot cocoa and Halloween and all that kind of stuff is coming up, which is gonna be nice. So this is like, it fizzes and it foams, and I like those, those are, those are cool, the ones that do both. Head for time's sake. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's kind of soft. All right. There. There's a little purple for you. Okay. Rinse my hand off. And I still have my little, my little gumdrop piece of soap. Okay. Well. So yeah, the water definitely, definitely, oh, that's pretty. Um, the water definitely is a light purple. It's very pretty and it is very, very soft. My hand is just really, really soft and, and um, it feels like, yeah, definitely feels like I've had lotion on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this soap down and wipe off around my tub because I've just been leaning over it and getting into it and mixing it up and um, we'll check out the bubbles. Very, um, 
just I think that they, they tend to linger so and I just think that that's lovely okay well I tell you what um, I'm gonna grab a shower and then I love will let you guys know how it was when I'm done but um, I, I just I can't wait I can already tell you that I, I'm gonna love this bath so I'll be back in just a minute right, so I'm done with my spiced cranberry bath bomb from sugar plum soaps and there's nothing in my tub, but um, I did go ahead and rinse it down like I tell you guys if I do because I did test out a shaving soap in there. So I went ahead and rinsed it out, but there wasn't going to be anything left over with this balm anyway. It was a very light color. There was a little bit of shimmer in it, but it, it wasn't really enough to stick to my skin. The moisture level on this balm was really, really nice. I don't even need a lotion or body butter. Um, now it just I, I feel like I've already got something like that on and but it's not greasy it's not it wasn't thick or greasy or anything like that so um, the moisture level I would say was perfect with this one um, it didn't have any embeds it didn't have any bright colors but the artistry was definitely on the outside of this balm so definitely go ahead and go to her Facebook page and her website and check her out she's got new things all the time I'm thinking I'm probably going to get some of her stuff for gifts this year for the holiday season. And I know it sounds like it's probably a little too early to talk about that stuff, but I'm just one of those that likes to get some gifts and get them out of the way early so um, I don't have to have a mad rush the month, um, you know, right before the holidays. But um, definitely go ahead and check her out. I will have all of her links listed down below. So um, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.